Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're going to be doing part two of the band attachment series. We're going to be doing the constrictor knot. So stick around, don't go away. I'm going to show you what we need. So we're going to be doing the constrictor knot method today. So for those of you who followed along on the uh, on the wrap and tuck method, um, we use this uh, band tying jig. You can just get, go ahead and get that out of here. We're not going to need it today at all. So that's history. What we are going to need today is one pair of, uh, or one set of precisely uh, cut bands. Make sure they're nice and even. No nicks, scuffs, cuts, or scratches in them. You're going to need yourself a pouch. And I like to use either a pen but, or this thing. It's a, a thing for putting on O-rings for, uh, for wacky rigs when you're uh, fishing for bass on, uh, on Senkos. But I like to tie my knots on this and get them pre-ready on here and then slide them onto the pouch later. But you're going to need some kind of cord. I like to use, um, I like to use uh, leather, uh, leather stitching cord. This is a cotton cord that's been waxed. I find this stuff works great for me, holds a knot pretty decent, and I don't really usually have to worry about it. And it's cheap and extremely strong. So I've gone ahead and cut myself two workable lengths. And I did it about, uh, I don't know, I guess uh, uh, maybe, maybe eight inches or so, which is probably overkill. So if you're new to this method and you're not really a, a knotty kind of person, you're going to need to know how to tie the constrictor knot. I'm going to go ahead and show you that first, and then we're going to go into the, into the actual band making. Sorry guys, I'm going to show you real quick how to tie a constrictor knot. Super easy knot. And uh, it's very similar to the clove hitch. So if you guys know how to tie the clove hitch, you're three quarters of the way there. So, pass your line over the top. Cross it over, so you make an X. See, we have an X there. Now, when you bring your line around, you want it to go around your other tag end, over the top of it. And then you're going to pass it See, so we got our X here. You want to pass it under the both, under the two, and in between the X. Are you seeing that? And then you just snug everything down. You've got it. And that's the constrictor knot. I'll try it one more time so you guys can see. Pass your line over the top. Cross it over so you make an X. See, we have an X there. Now, when you bring your line around, you want it to go around your other tag end, over the top of it, and then you're going to pass it. See, so we got our X here. You want to pass it under the both, under the two, and in between the X. Are you seeing that? And then you just snug everything down. You've got it. And that's the constrictor knot. Sorry, guys. You'll see here. I have a couple of uh, constrictor knots already wrapped up, ready to go on there. I find that's the easiest way to do it. Just get them all set up onto a stick or a, or um, a pencil or a pen or in this case a, uh, a wacky rig uh, setup tool. Uh, there's all kinds of things you can use and it works out fine. But this is what I like to use. So let's go ahead and uh, get these bands together. Sorry guys, I've got my, my band in my pouch. It's already there, it's ready to go. Um, now before we do anything with it, I've got it at the desired length I want it to be at, everything is cool. But what I would suggest to do is actually slide one of those constrictor knots over the pouch. Just to get ready. Because as soon as, as, soon as we we're, we're ready to fold this over, we're going to need to have that on there. So, we got the first one there. It's ready to go, so let's, let's do the fold. We got that on there, give it a little tug, make sure everything is cool, and then we can start working that knot down. Now, this is where I end up using my teeth a little bit, but let's see if we can do it just with our hands, just so we can keep everything on frame, or in frame. We got it all in there. You can see the the rope is all passed up. I like to keep the knot end on the outside 
It's just me for no particular reason. So you start to snug it up and give it a little tug and move that knot down. It's a little fiddly in the beginning. There we go. All right, I'm gonna tilt this up because I'm gonna need my teeth. All right, so when I do this, this is basically how I do it. I just take it, I just, uh, it's kind of crude, I know, but it works. I keep the fold of my hand, keep everything tight. I give it a little bit of a tug, work it on down, make sure it's gonna stay there. There we go. I've pulled it real tight. It ain't going nowhere. Now once that end's all done, all wrapped up, ready to go, give it a tug, and everything's gonna cinch down just a little bit tighter. See that? That's it. Give it one more little, little tug, and that's not coming undone. And that is done. Let's do the other side. Before we even get started, we're going to make sure that we put that other uh, constrictor knot onto the pouch. I usually don't do them both at the same time, only because um, while I'm fiddling around with it and tightening it, sometimes the other one gets in the way, causes some issues. There we go. We got our desired length. Give those a nice fold. Make sure everything's even. Everything looks pretty good. All right. Now we'll slide down that knot. And we'll start to dress it up. You want to. You're going to want to make sure everything stays nice and even. Okay. So when you're pulling it on down, get everything all nice and even. So it's going to hold on now. Not so bad. So what I like to do is just give it a little bit of a stretch and slide that knot down. Do it on both sides. There we go. We got it in there pretty close. So let's give it a little tighten up. There we go. There we go. All right. Let's just finish her off as we got our hands free. There we go. Now you don't want to pull too crazy tight because you definitely don't want that to cut through your band set. So anyway, we got it on there. Let's give it a good tug. Make sure it's slipped down. You see that? There we go. Both ends are feeling pretty good. Everything's nice and even. Let's cut these guys off. All right, let's take care of those little ends. Give them a little meltdown so they don't come apart. Just when you're using your lighter, guys, be mindful of your rubber. You don't want to damage it or melt it in any kind of way. So, there we go. There we go, that's really good. Nice and tight, it ain't going nowhere. All right, so now that we're all done tying on our pouch, let's give these little these little ears a trim. Get your rotor cutter going, and as long as you pull that down tight, you can cut them as close as you normally do, and you're not gonna have an issue. See that?
So there you have it guys. A nice, even band set, ready to go without using a band tying jig. All right guys, so there we have our band set tied up using constrictor knots. It's very simple, no specialized equipment needed, no band tying jigs, no, no, uh, no scissor pincher thingies, nothing, none of that. All you gotta do is pick up some cord over at the dollar store. This is a um, uh, leather sewing thread that I use. Works great, it's waxed, holds onto a rope, uh, onto, um, onto a knot tight, and uh, very durable. I put that onto my band sets. It seems to work quite well. Uh, some people use Dacron. Some people use, um, some people use, I've seen people use like plastic cord that they buy at the dollar store. I've seen people use, um, what do you call that stuff? Uh, uh, backing for fishing line, all kinds of things. So you can find something you need to be able to tie this stuff up. No problem. No matter where you live, you'll find something. I want to say thanks a lot for watching. Teach kid to shoot. I'll see you in the next one. And uh, the next one, like I said, we'll be doing the crystal string or the amber belt or maybe even both. Maybe we'll do one of each. I don't know. Just to get an idea. So thanks a lot for watching. See you soon. Take care. Sorry right, guys, on this end screen here, I've attached two playlists for you to check out. One of them is for our 50 shot challenge vlog. And the second one is to go back to check out part one of this uh, band tying uh, series. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again soon. Take care.